Alrighty, let's get into some live examples. It's gonna be a walkthrough of my exact workflow when I'm looking for a product. What am I doing? What am I thinking? I'm gonna use Jungle Scout, of course, and I'm just gonna say my thoughts out loud. It's gonna be more of an informal lecture to round it out, but it's basically gonna to bring together all of the super special secrets that we've been going through and my mindset around looking for a profitable winning product and so that can get translated straight into your brain and you can open a new tab and do this with me or do it after you finish and know exactly how I do it. Without further ado, we can get started. Let's get out of the kitchen and dining. Let's go somewhere new. Let's have a look into... Let's go pet supplies. That looks kind of cool. Price 20 to 60. I'm going to put this up a little bit. Just because I'm going to see if I can find a couple of interesting products that are more expensive in the pet industry. Rank always going to be about 1 to 2,500. It just shows you which um, products are actually selling. Because if it's under 2,500 rank, it's selling really well. You can put this up to 5,000, 10,000 if you really wanted to. If you're really starting and you want something that's a uh, smaller niche, going to make you less money but easier to work with. I'm going to leave it here at 2500 All the rest are the same. Uh, let's put in some oversized products just for the fun of it. No keywords, 200 products, search. So that's going to populate. Now, of course, we're going to sort by estimated monthly revenue in a decreasing fashion. So the highest monthly revenue at the top. And right away you can see we have dog food. My uh, thoughts when it comes to food or things that go in people's mouths or anything that has to be FDA approved is I want to stay away from that. So these are scoop free litter tray refills. So the first thing that entered my mind there that I'll share with you is this is nice and small. Things that are small and easy to post and easy to send I normally really good because they're going to be cheap to send it from China. They're going to be most likely easier to manufacture because they're smaller. And that's sort of the first thing that I look at is like, is it small? This one is, yes, it's small. It doesn't make money. It makes so much money. We're going to open that up on Amazon and see what happens. So you can see that it has a lot of reviews. So obviously the problem here. And of course, the first problem you're going to occur, or the first challenge I'd prefer to say that you're going to come across when sorting by revenue is they're going to be a lot of competition. If there's not a lot of competition and something's doing this much revenue, get into that as soon as possible. Buy your product and get into that niche. So pet supplies. So these are scoop free litter tray refills. So I'm just going to Google, uh, not Google, Amazon search within pet supplies is fine. Litter tray refills just to see what, what else is happening over here. I'm going to pull out my other jungle scout going to simplify things a lot so this is the one here rank number five of course because it's selling so much i'm going to rank 281 and that looks like it's a very similar brand if not the same brand it is the same brand so these guys are just crushing it pack of six i see so it's just two packs that's an expensive thing too uh, we can sort by number of reviews. You can see one, two, three, four, five, five heavy hitters down here. 913 reviews. So for, straight away, I know it's not really that profitable. So I don't have to go any further here. So I'm going to close these down. And again, go back to my Jungle Scout and just keep looking over here. Here's his other product that we just saw. So more food, supplements, food and supplements. Is that a cage? A crate. That's cool. It's again oversized. We've got the oversized ticked. It weighs 40 pounds. Wow. So I guess this food is classified as oversized too. 16,000 reviews. That's insane. I'm not going to click on that. That's a lot of reviews. Coming back, looking at the photos again. What is small, easy to manufacture? These are feel away diffuser refills for cat calming. Interesting. Not wanting to go into that niche personally. Pet trainer, dog collar, rechargeable, rainproof, remote shock, dog collar. 144, 6,000 reviews is a lot of reviews. So I'm going to scroll a little bit further down to where there's 
less competition. So less revenue, obviously, will be less competition. Let's go down here, 85 Gs a month. So we've got wee wee pads, puppy training pads, 41 bucks. A lot of reviews still. I'm just looking at reviews now, see if we can find something with less reviews on it. Still food, more training pads, puppy stairs. 5,200 reviews is a lot of reviews. Now again, you can see I'm not really finding anything uh, that stands out straight away. If I was to find something that stood out straight away, it would be incredibly lucky because you only, you need one product a year. If you get a product that's making you $100,000 a month, you only need one of those every year and you're making millions of dollars a year. So it's not going to like pop out straight away if it does. Congratulations. But otherwise, just keep looking and keep persisting. You can keep looking... I normally look for up to a week, just do two or three hours a day of looking, keep a list separate. So I pull up my notes and put in anything that I find, I normally rank them. So it's like, oh, this one was really good. That slot into number one, number two. And at the end of the week, you have a list of 20 or 30 items that you have to look further into and make a decision on what you want to sell. So that aside, let's go back into looking stackable pet food storage container. That's kind of cool. So a lot of reviews. I'm going to find something better than that for sure. The sofa bed, 3.6 average stars. That's not great. Let's have a look at that. So it's 40 bucks, which is a great price point. So memory phone. Let's see what comes up. So we got a few of them. Nice, nice prices. Forty bucks, hundred and forty bucks. Wow, that's great. Thirty, thirty, one fifty, one fifty, eighty four. So great prices. Let's pull up the Jungle Scout. Higher ranks here. Yeah, you can see. So they're not actually making that much money at all. This is the one guy we saw who was making a lot of money. Let's see how consistent he is. Relatively consistent. Again, these are this is what happens when you run out of stock. That's exactly what that looks like. It's a slow uh, or a slower trade off of rank as you're like raising your price, selling less and less a day because your price is going high. You get back in stock and boom, straight back down to where you are. Um, so this guy's doing really well. He has to come up for another keyword for sure because there's not many searches on this keyword. So I bet you that's just pet bed or something that he's coming up for. You can be more specific too. You could go for dog bed or cat bed. So these are orthopedic. So this looks pretty, like this looks like an incredible product. This has got a ton of reviews. It looks like this is a cute little photo. Again, this is a great photo. It looks like a pretty crowded, well, uh, people with who know what they're doing is what I'm trying to say right here. So I'm going to stay out of that. Let's, let's come across to the third page now. So you have a puppy potty trainer. We can open that. That'll roll up. That won't be too much to ship. A thousand reviews is a lot. So puppy, oh, I guess it's dog potty trainer. You can see they pop up here. Jungle Scout straight away. Pretty good on the reviews, actually. So we saw it by reviews. We only have one with over a thousand. And a lot, although not many of them are making too much money, under a hundred. So you definitely get onto this first page. This one here is doing really well. Is it a new product? Oh, one thing I'd love to show you, I forgot about it in the other lecture, so I'm glad we can jump back in. When you come down to Keeper here, you can see how long a product has been selling on Amazon for, which is really insightful sometimes, right here, all 387 days. You can zoom in and out on this scale right here. But sometimes you're like, oh, I wonder if they've been selling for a while, how long they've been successful for. This is their entire life cycle plotted, and that's a really valuable tool, especially... 
in an upcoming trend or something that's new, you can be, oh, this guy's only nine days old and he's already at a 200 bestseller rank. You know that's a great niche to get into. Uh, so this is not looking bad at all. Let's go to revenue. So you definitely have more than three people at above 10,000 and then an additional three people. I guess you got one, two, three. So it's pretty much on uh, in the criteria. You have 182 reviews. Average price, not bad, 20 bucks. You could definitely throw this into the fee calculator. What we then want to do, the next step here is to go to Alibaba, of course, and then dog... Was that potty trainer? Is that what they called it? Potty trainer. Now it's also while this loads, it's important to know when you sell products, you're selling, you're actually selling keywords because you can have a dog potty trainer or you can have a dog toilet trainer, for example. And what you might find sometimes is that there's just nothing under dog uh, toilet trainer, and instead of having a different product or going to a different niche, you can simply list under a different keyword. And if there's people searching for this, which you have to verify, um, you can sell a lot of product by just coming up under a different keyword, even with the exact same product. That's just something to keep in mind. So here's a little patch of grass, 600, doesn't have a price. Here we got six bucks. It's expensive, $16, $8. Dollar fifty for a tiny one. How big are these ones? Thirty inches by twenty inches. So they're a little bit bigger than these ones. It doesn't look like a thirty inch bed. Let's have a look at this one. Twenty six centimeters by twelve centimeters. That's just a tiny little dog. That's it's gonna be a microscopic dog that he's got in there for the photo. Uh, so you can see it's a little bit smaller too. And again, ten dollars a piece. I saw some for six up here. It's not great. Although they, this one's thirty seven. I thought there was a twenty dollar one. Oh, so the six dollar ones are selling for seventeen. The larger ones are selling for forty six. So that's actually pretty good on an eleven. I guess that's not a larger one. We'd have to look for a larger one and see what they're selling for. I'll type in large, yeah. That didn't work. Why didn't you go in? Okay. Large dog. Okay, that's weird. Alibaba, large dog, potty trainer. There we go. It's an interesting looking piece. I wonder how that works. Is that just the base of it? So I can't see anything. I'm gonna get back to the search to make sure we're getting some more valuable stuff in here. But you can see, you go in and you investigate Alibaba, then you might message a few people, see if you can get one bigger, see if you can get it, you know, the price, get up the fee calculator, Put it in there, see what profit you're gonna make. Make sure the category is not gated, etc., etc. That would be the ongoing thing that I would do over there. Barking control, shot collar. All right, let's go. Thirty dollars for a shot collar. Alibaba dog shock collar. Drug dog training costs. So this one is sort of what it looks like, isn't it? There's no remote. No remote. It's a barking collar, I guess. Oh, here we go. So this is six dollars. That's up to ten dollars. Three dollars. That's cheap. Four dollars. So you can see there could be a market here, $6. That's a cute little paw print on there. Again, you can get all these customized. We're going to go through that in the next module. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to show you how to differentiate your product. But right now, let's have a look. 6 bucks. This is 28 So I guess it is called Dog Barking Collar. 28 29 11 So these are on the cheaper side. But again, 
people like to trust uh, the more expensive ones, although that rating is not great. 3.9. What's this guy got? 4.3. Again, see they're getting low stars. This is something I'd definitely stay away from. A lot of products are uh, destined to get low stars. Burnt dog skin, no indicator light. Look great for a month, beeped. Electronics are sort of like this. They're really hard to control, and if, especially if you're sourcing them cheaply from China, did not work. Stop working. Stop working. That's why I stay away from electronics too, because you're sourcing them cheap from China. And I mean, if you paid, a, I'm, I'm sure there's high quality ones here if you paid the right price, but that's not really the market on Amazon. So I'm going to uh, cancel that one out based on the electronics. There's a lot of food in here. Maybe we shouldn't have clicked oversized, but that's okay. What am I, food dispenser? Well, that's cool. I'm not going to click on that because it does seem big. Stackable food containers are great. They just got so many reviews. Animal grooming kit. That sounds cool. Let's have a look. Now, the other thing I want to stress once more for you is depending on how much budget you have and how much marketing experience you have, you can go into um, products with more competition. Now, this is a lot of competition, so I would probably still not go into this one unless you are certain that you could have a product better than this or different than this. But I did not work again. Alibaba dog grooming kit. But definitely if you do have marketing experience, expand what I've taught you here and you can definitely go into bigger categories and more competitive categories. And if this is your first time, stay to the not so competitive ones and make a couple of thousand dollars a month first and then expand on. Once you've done the process and you know how to do it, you've got some confidence, definitely don't be afraid to tackle products that are bigger and bigger and have more profit coming in and more searches per month coming in. So this is the dog grooming kit, that's seven bucks. Again, the next step would be go to, over to Amazon, dog grooming kit. So I hope you're getting the idea of the workflow that I go through. It's Jungle Scout, Alibaba, Amazon, and then you can go to your calculator and you can refer back to your notes to see if there's anything else that you need um, and just shortlist it. When you get something, put it in a list. Write down uh, 10 before you even look further, uh, before you look into patterns or before you look into gated uh, categories. Write down 10 things and then narrow them down from there. So these are 26, so they're sponsored ads, 28, 34. I guess these aren't electronic. This one, no. Very interesting. Oh, there's an electronic one. Fourteen dollars. So not great. Well, that's a cool product. This is looking cool. Forty-three thousand a month. Four hundred reviews. Forty-nine dollars. I have a feeling this isn't that expensive. Cargo liner cover for SUVs. So it doesn't say anything about pet pets in the actual title. Cargo liner cover. I'm going to go into all departments to make sure that pets come up. And there it is. So it's got a cargo liner cover. Jungle Scout, this bad boy. Let's have a look. Not bad rank. So the reason they're making decent money is because their price point is nice and high, which I like. Uh, this guy is the one who is crushing it. This guy's doing well too. Again, if you sell by revenue, you'll see that there's more than three over 10,000 and then more than three over 4,000. Number of views under 300. Looking good so far. Let's have a look how much we can source it from. Uh, cargo liner cover. Again, you can, that not, might not even be the number one keyword. So we're going to have a look if it's a uh, dog car seat covers. See how I let that uh, auto populate? I typed in dog and car and see, saw what came up. You could sell it under this if this is less competitive, for example. It looks much more competitive. So it looks like we found the good keyword in the first place. So let's see how much that costs 15 bucks, 9 bucks, 
thirteen dollars, fifteen dollars, seven dollars. That's it. Looks like a cheap one. Here's a white one. So again, getting into next module, differentiate yourself. People are looking for different things. I'm going to show you exactly how to find exactly what people are looking for, so we can go into that. But just uh, for now, just always you want to differentiate. You always want to get high quality. Two of the top tips you can learn. So that's a ten dollar piece. So we'll say on average ten bucks. And if we go back to our better keyword, cargo liner cover, you can see that they're selling for fifty here, thirty-five here, twenty-five, forty-nine. Definitely open that calculator and put that in. I definitely put this one in the short list. I want to know how much it costs to send. I want to know how much the fees are. I put this in the short list and I'll check back in once I'd had nine or ten more items to add to that list rank them all and go with the top product. Glad we found something that was uh, pretty looking pretty good. Again, really easy. That took a couple of minutes. Really easy to just switch categories to if we go, oh, home improvement time. Same criteria. Search, sorted by revenue. And all of a sudden you have more products. Now, these products look a lot smaller too. So it looks a little bit better than the, there's only 16 products. All right, let's go to Home and Kitchen and see what happens here. 492 products. So once again, I went for the size. I looked at the reviews here. Obviously, I'm sorted by how much they're earning, so I know that there is demand immediately. I want to know how much I can source it from, from uh, Alibaba. Put those in the FBA fee calculator, see how much profit I'm making per item, see what keywords stick out and see if there's alternative keywords on Amazon. Basically the workflow I go to and the end product is a sheet with about 10 to 20 um, product ideas that I can get, then go back over and see which ones are the best and put my money into that. Last thing I wanna say is have confidence. Don't be worried. Amazon is a lot easier than you think. A lot of people are like, oh, it looks like a good product. It fulfills all the criteria. I'm not sure if I should get into it. My advice, get into it. Don't be not sure, have confidence, it'll pay off in this game and you guys will be doing really well. So congratulations on finishing section two. Let's jump into the next module which I am excited to teach you and that's how to beat the competition and leave them in the dust by differentiating your product through marketing techniques.